In this video, something about gyrators. The gyrator was invented by engineer Telligen in 1948. And he called it a fifth electronic element. And when you go to Wikipedia, you can find much more information. Mr. Uh, Telligen was an engineer at the Philips laboratory in Eindhoven in the Netherlands. That was a very scientific laboratory where all kinds of um, circuits be before they entered in the uh, consumer's area were tested uh, in a pure scientific way. And also many inventions were made in Eindhoven in the 1920s, 1930s, 1950s, etc. The gyrator is a very interesting element because it simulates an inductor. And I want to make uh, perhaps in the future a video about it um, where I do an experiment myself. But I want to refer first to this article. Wireless World, February 1967, where there are uh, two engineers, Butler, uh, sorry, one engineer, F. Butler, that describes this whole thing. Very interesting. Also, with a lot of mathematics, I cannot go in detail because I don't understand it. That's very simple, but what is very good to understand is this circuit where he tried to make a gyrator, a simulated inductor, with discrete components, transistors. That's extremely interesting and I want to do such an uh, experiment myself. But anyway, it takes a lot of time. And he also describes the problems in this article um, that he uh, has met when he made this circuit. Of course, these problems have all to do with nonlinearity from transistors, etc., etc. Anyway, it's important to tell that nowadays there are uh, chips. And here you find uh, information about chips, gyrator chips. Uh, this chip here, the TDA4560 Paul Color Delay Chip, uses gyrator units inside um, uh, to uh, diminish the time. Uh, between the moment, um, it, it's a time delay, that's all to tell. And of course, such a gyrator simulated inductor can help to diminish the time. For instance, uh, uh, a certain signal in, and after say 10 microseconds, it has to come out of the chip, and that's what this circuit does. And also, I found this here a patent. And you can find it on the internet and of course also other circuits about gyrator. Simulating an inductance and here is the link. I hope it's visible. So there is a lot of information on the internet. And here the chip. And of course you can find that yourself on the World Wide Web. And it's very interesting to see, for instance, that this circuit is present. Simulated inductor linear data book from National Semiconductor from 1976. And we have here a simulated inductor circuit. On page 3103. So you can do experiments. In my opinion, uh, it could be that it doesn't make much sense to replace such a very simple small inductor by an electronic chip. But on lower frequencies for filters, 
say in the range from 300 hertz up to 10 kilohertz it could be a very interesting circuit such a gyrator and of course also in color television old school color television they use that uh, the gyrator units as a time delay very interesting